have Tracy Wilson Rossman. She is the CEO and founder of Tech Girls. Hello, Philadelphia. I can't thank the organizers of today's event enough. Their desire to make a difference and to make a statement overcame the short time frame to put this march together. So it's amazing what they've done. We're all here today for so many different reasons. This march is personal for each of us. I wanted to speak today to tell you why I march. I have spent the better part of the last 10 years working to create a world where girls and women understand they have a place in the workforce, especially in the technology industry. That there is, that there is a pathway to these careers for girls and women. And an understanding that these careers are not just open to men. That right now, there is no better time to be a girl or woman who wants to be part of the innovation economy. I march today to economically empower girls and women in America. At first, I impulsively signed on to march because of dissatisfaction with the election and what I viewed as an attack on women. But the more that I thought about it, the more I realized that I need to stand for something positive. At the core of my fear and anger is my desire to give voice to the girls and women I represent as both a technologist and a leader of a nonprofit. And it is for them that I march today. There exists a widening financial gap between men and women in America, and it is a significant financial, social, and health ramifications for everyone. Greater earning power and potential is critical to putting men and women on equal footing in this country. By making it commonplace for women to be in the workforce, we can make an easier path for girls to shape their own careers, attain higher pay, and even higher trajectories. Achieving this economic empowerment is the only way to create the lasting change that will end the need for more marches like this one. Since I began advocating for more girls to pursue careers in tech, the conversation has certainly advanced, but it remains far from ideal. Today, our industry is facing a severe shortage of workers, estimated to be nearly one million job openings in the next three years. It is impossible for only men to fill all these open positions, but we don't have enough trained women to make up the shortfall. It is an economic imperative for businesses that more women join the technology field. And as technology seeps into every imaginable career, it is, and it's more than just coding, it makes the role of women in the workforce who have tech skills more wide open and even more urgent. Consider the economic and social implications of succeeding in our effort to enter more women into tech-related fields. Jobs in tech pay well. The average salary that a woman makes per year is $38,000. The average salary of a software developer, $65,000. And you should know, not every tech-related job requires a college degree. We must continue to allow girls and women to know they can dream bigger and that they do belong in this tech economy. And given that nearly half of all women are the primary breadwinners in their families, the potential for women to greatly increase their salaries has significant impact far down the line. Less reliance on subsidy programs, better nutrition for families, more potential to build assets, and ideally, a greater perception and role in society as a whole. That's why I march. To raise awareness for the disparity in women in technology and work in general, as a way to swell those ranks and to help women to help place women on equal economic footing. If one woman or girl is made aware of the opportunity in front of her because of my participation or my words today, that is one more woman that can vote with her voice, her ballot, and her wallet. In this way, we can continue to move forward stronger than we were before. So I ask you, what is your plan for January 22nd? If giving girls and women more economic equality is part of why you are here today, there are many organizations 
that can use your time, your skills, your mentorship to continue to make this future vision a reality. Thank you for your time.